Hey, this is Dave. I'm going to show you how I uh, would build an affiliate site, a data-driven affiliate site from the ground up. How to set it up, code it up, the PHP stuff, make it template-driven, grab a data feed, dump it into a MySQL database, all that good stuff. Uh, the idea being at the very end, I'm going to give somebody a free version of this, have their own very own data-driven affiliate site. So I'm using ShareASale. <clears throat> I've logged in, and if you were to scroll up and you could look around, uh, I've got FTP access for data feeds, which for most people they don't need, but we can all always set up a script that automatically pulls that. Uh, most people are just going to want to get data feeds like this, but we want FTP, at least I want FTP access for data feeds. So I'm going to go down here. It's going to tell me some information. It looks like I need that. Uh, that's where I'm going to log into. And which one are we going to use today? Let's try Nature's Hill. What is that one? Let me slip this up so I can see what it's showing. Uh, Nature's Hill 4742. So that's the one I'm going to use. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do all this from the server. If this looks kind of scary and esoteric, don't worry. This isn't the only way to do stuff, but I find it's pretty easy for what I want. Um, so I'm going to FTP into the site they tell me. Uh, username, password. All right. And then. So where is it? There's that directory. So let's cd into there. And let me lift this up a little so I can see it. And do a ls. How about ll? Yeah, it's a little tight. Uh, ls. So it's got this file, this file, and I'm going to grab the zip, which is 492,000 bytes. So here I'm going to get that file. Oops, let's just do this. 4742.zip. Come on. Okay, so I should have uh, taken that from their server to mine. I'm going to get out, say bye. Do a ls. So yeah, I've got that zip file. I'm going to unzip it. 4742.zip. If I do an ll, I now have two files. I've got this text file and this zip file. The text file is now expanded out to almost 3 meg. Um, let's see how many lines are in there. So I'm just going to do a word count. Uh, that's not going to work. Word count on this. How many? That'll tell me how many lines. There's 3,357 entries in there. Okay, good. Um, <clears throat> now I want to know what kind of format they have it in. So I'm going to just type head. Show me the top of the file. That's a little awkward to read, but it looks like it's pipe separated. Every uh, field is separated by a pipe. I have no idea what the fields are. But let's pass this through a little command line Perl. Uh, chomp, split. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Let's substitute all the pipes with a carriage return. And do that whoops, globally. And then we'll do a chomp split and I just want to print let's say the first line so let's do this little hack here this dollar x equals dollar x plus one uh, if dollar x is less than two then go ahead and print whatever is on that line put a carriage return back on so that should give me the first element so where is it? So right from here down to here. And let me just paste that in so I can see what the heck's involved. First line, I have no idea what that is. This looks like the description, probably what I'll use for the title. It's an Adam's Needle, whatever that is. Uh, that's Nature Hills Nursery's number. Here's the URL I'm going to need. It looks like I'm going to have to replace This is where I'm going to put my user ID in there so I get credit. Uh, they provide pictures. Thank you very much. Uh, Control T. Let's paste that in. Yep, so they give you a little picture to use. Thank you. 
what else do they provide? Price. Uh, looks like some kind of grouping, another type of grouping. And then, ah, yes. A description. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't have to type up a description. Another kind of grouping, another kind of grouping, probably another kind of grouping. Full sun. Oh, it gives you a little instructions on when to, uh, where it needs, what kind of sun. Probably the last added, maybe the last update, and it says it's out of stock. Okay, that's something I'm going to have to worry about when I set up my data, uh, my database, is looking for stuff that's out of stock. Let us just kind of get a quick glance at what else they have here. Instead of uh, typing head, let's type tail, which gives me the end of the file. And Christmas in stock, that's interesting. Let's without copy and paste there. I don't need that. There's That's going to be my title, vendor number, Nature Hills Nursery. Here's the link. There's that, which I'll have to do a replace. There's a picture I can use. Price, some kind of group, some kind of group. A wonderful description. Beautiful. We'll actually do something special with that. We're not just going to keep it as is. We'll modify it a little bit. Uh, probably another type of grouping. Last update, I'm guessing and status. Okay. So I think I've got enough information to get started with a data feed site. I know uh, I downloaded their zip file which has all the uh, components, all the what components isn't the right word, all the stuff they're selling. Uh, they provide uh, a title I can use, um, different groupings, they got obviously a link, pictures, uh, wonderful description, price, last update, and they let me know if it's in stock or out of stock. So that's what I'm going to use to get started with a uh, database-driven affiliate website. Stay tuned.